Uh, however, as you do this, the sheer amount of electrical energies that you've pumped out, uh, you know the whole entire thing that electricity is kind of attracted to itself a little bit, or at least the ozone <laughs> stuff around it. I had you to roll me a reflex save. Oh dear. If this is getting fried. Oh, just in case it becomes relevant and you hmm. need to do something to survive, I will keep, I'll remind you that you have a temporary hero point, but I roll the damage first to let you see what it will be. I, I have a temporary hero point. From listening to Beria do a nat 20 performance for 45, oh. with her, new, her with her retrieve flute again. I, uh, uh, yes, I remember that now. Oh, you'd be fine. I'm on minus five hit points. Aaron's there. Evan's down in a ditch somewhere. It's probably more likely she's <laughs> hiding in like the access to the roof. Like the little stairway that leads up to, into the roof. So it, <laughs> if, if, if yeah, if, if, if was all like, I'm fine, I made friends, cow, boom. As Aaron probably just watches him like fly through the air near her. <laughs> just thumps, bounces across the ground a few times. <laughs> right next up to Aaron, Aaron quickly rummage around his backpack, grab rubber gloves, and drag him inside. <laughs> Epos, you're going to be spending a little bit of time in the infirmary. Worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> oh! I don't know. Tempor eh, no, never mind. Carry on. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I was thinking about maybe, like, pseudoscience medicine. Uh... I was thinking of maybe taking that uh, really, really fragile crystal that's a magical capacitor out of my bag that I still have. Oh, you mean the one that you got from the first layer of the basement? Yeah, and stuffing it in his mouth and maybe taking up some of the energy that's still coursing <laughs> through him. She just attaches a battery to it, supposed to charge she the battery. Yeah. As a DM, I'm just going to give you a suggestion. Maybe just stabilize him and he'll be fine. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, I'd be fine maybe either way, but this way we could get extra magical shit. Maybe I can harvest parts off him. Please, uh, please don't harvest the kobold. Uh, okay, fine. I don't know, I, could, I think you can make a really cool little vest. He's not Probably that big. Probably will grant you ER electricity 5. Yeah. He, he's really not that big. Well, I mean, I'm not that big. But he's only three yeah, no, foot, he's and he's the scrawny. only person you'd fit on is Aaron. I'm, I'm not, shorter I'm not... than you, Ippos. Yeah, but the whole body isn't usable as leather. Fuck Unless you, you're I'm gonna make some kind of weird ass skin suit, in which case, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm only I'm only two uh, nine. Yeah, it's my cobalt footy pajamas. I hate it. Anyway. That's currently where the day is at. Apparently a massive thunderstorm and Epos is fucking dead. <laughs> in, AKA slash in a full body cast as he recovers. Ash! Ash! <coughs> what? The that's it! Exploded. That's it! Help I'd, me! I'd, I'd have the healing thing on! <laughs> that's true. Yeah, if it Ash would have given it in the morning. Your cobalt exploded, help! I mean, it's, oh yeah, it's, no. It's, it's... Ash makes sure to give it to Ippos every day because Ash knows what <laughs> Ippos is like. So what's that, a, a d8? Plus three. Plus three. He's awake! Oh, you're fine! You're fine, he, Daddy! He's still, he's still sort of so the moment bounced you across the ground. Ash, the, thing just, the thing just procs, and you're just like, oh wow, that was fast. Thanks, Ash! Yeah, he, he bounces across the ground, slides to a stop near Aaron, she panics, calls her up for Ash, it triggers, and he's sort of... Head comes up, shakes it, static still coming off from all over him. It's like, that fun, let's do again! Ah, uh, I mean, the storm is still going if you're feeling up for it, but I mean, you're kind of exploded! He pokes Aaron. Plus, it's like red hot right now. He pokes Aaron, there's massive no, static. No, 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 backing up. <laughs> Aaron, you can just see your hair just like. Towards him. Oh wait, is this is his scales actually glowing? Because he's mostly metal now. I said he is very hot right now. <laughs> you should go dunk yourself in water or something. Go it's it's, it's, it's raining? fine. Literally it's leaving raining. Leaving black marks on my floor. It's wait, is it leaving... raining? Yes. Yeah. And so yeah, it's prob probably cool just like steam coming off of him. You are you, the tips of your scales are glowing red. Go dunk yourself in water or something. He, he walks back out, back outside into the rain. You're gonna get struck by lightning again! Oh my you, god! You said water! Not that 
water. It's, it's, it's water. Uh, it's, Aaron, it's the freshest Aaron water. Knows it's how sky water. She's gonna close her eyes. It must be fine. I'm not that fucking cruel. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm glad we know how that works now. I'm sorry for suggesting you be a capacitor. It's fine. It was okay. Subjective, but what do you mean? Your eyes almost jumped out of your head. Yeah, I saw your skeleton they, for a half second they, there. They, they went back in. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> fine. I, gee, wow. Braver than I. That, that, that's that that's that cobalt confidence coming in. Yeah. <laughs> but that's basically where the idea is that unless you desperately want to go out and attempt to do stuff in the middle of a severe thunderstorm, I imagine most people are just staying indoors and catching up on work. Yep, more planar stuff. Which I will say will allow you to finish the planar puncture. Alright, now I just need to figure out how to yep, details for get someone else to be Silas temporarily. <laughs> oh. I at least know how to do that, actually. I had an even better idea. Huh. Okay, I got a good plan now. Time move you over to the timeline. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, this is vaguely magical bullshit who, you know, you have people good at vaguely magical bullshit. Actually, this is alchemical vaguely bullshit. I'm just talking more about curse, but yeah. No, I know, the curse. This is going to be alchemical, actually. I actually have an alchemical solution to a magical problem. I've got to say, you might be attempting a bit of bullshit with a deific curse. Uh, this isn't, good luck. This, okay, I will say this isn't bullshit. Um, this actually is grounded in research that Aaron has come across in-game. Oh? Yeah. Because currently the Flemish theory of souls says if it looks like a duck and smells like a duck, it probably is a duck. And if I can confuse a curse for a half second by making a clone of Silas and planting a crystal in its skull which to act as a mind temporarily for Silas to imprint upon, maybe I can trick it for temporarily and then just lock it in there. And I know who can make clones. There is a problem with that theory, though. What? Um, curses are like parasites and do not like to leave the host body under any circumstance. That's what the murder's for. It's I'm just gonna say this is the rest of the body. Certainly, I'm a bit of bullshit. I'm not saying it won't necessarily work. I'm just saying it's very um out there. Yeah, as a uh, solution. It's uh, it's what Aaron would think of because she doesn't have any other magical cures or diplomatic skill. Also, there is, the, there is the uh, ritual for the planar puncture. There we go. Technically, ha the expensive material component, uh, Lee is willing to buy twice. Because she'll need, you know, she actually wants to make sure that she can go to where she needs to go. I mean, yeah, it's a good, uh, good experiment. And hell, Lee, if this works and my drone doesn't explode, um, and you're feeling motivated, I would be willing to give you the drone. Uh, no offense to your drone, but I can probably make something a lot cheaper. Uh, right. Um, well, I mean, then you wouldn't have to make anything if it works this time. Mm hmm. We'll see. Yeah. Um, if we know it works, then we at least know that we can go for it, in which case. <sighs> okay. Uh,. Shit, now I got a lot on my plate. Um, do we want to do... Oh, I suppose we can ask my mother if she's found the portal. You want to ask your mother if she's found the portal? Yeah. I'm afraid the answer is still no. Right. She just goes, ah. The main issue is, at least I've found so far, is that the basement technically counts as an opening for somewhere. So whenever I use this, I largely get a register of basement, basement, basement. If you understand right. what I mean. I understand what you mean. Um... I don't know if necessarily places within the basement might open up to somewhere else, but currently this far up, the basement overrides all. I saw that coming. 
Uh, hey guys, is it possible that the old school's connected to the basement in some way? Very possible. But I, I mean, it certainly makes sense. I mean, there was the planar flotsam theory I had, and honestly, it wouldn't really, unless it drifted away, it would still technically just latch onto this. I mean, there's an entirely new door in my house. I will say. Mm. Oh, did I not mention that? There's no, a door. I don't think you actually did. In my house that leads somewhere full of thrumming energy. I knocked and no one answered. It's also covered in like runes of alarm. Mm. And Ash, you're probably going to want to look at it because it's actually fairly religious and fairly interesting and fairly intricate. Well, it's, it's like alarm, religious, but we should also get multiple alarm. dimensions. Yeah. You, I mean, it doesn't seem like it'll explode if we open it. I can tell you that. It just, whatever made it, it would know. Uh, I'm going to correct you on that because you, I'll tell you, when you did look at it, you knew that something bad would happen if you tried to open it. Oh, or actually, right. no, yeah, it just wouldn't open. But if you did somehow get it open, something bad would happen. Right, because currently it's locked, and I can't pick that. I mean, I think I can't pick it. I haven't tried. I mean... That... It does block scrying, though. If I just... Dimension doored my drone to the other side, could I scry my drone? You could certainly try. Hey, Epos, do you know if there's going to be another storm soon? Is this one going to last a while? Uh, no, but tomorrow's going to be still very windy and very wet. No, oh, so no lightning. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no, because it's different to do the dimension door. I have to use an orb. Oh, you're thinking about that. Is there anything anyone wants to do on the day? I know probably Silas does not want to go hunting down Inquisitors while it's raining. Recover. Um, so yeah, if we still recover. I have a question. Yes. Um, Silas shared his, the fact that he's cursed like this with everyone the main group right uh not fully not yet okay just that there there are some issues that he's having with charge of aspects and that's why we had the spy so not details right now but perhaps soon in the future good theory torn don't have craft construct we know someone who does fair lee waves uh, it's nice that craft puppet counts as both craft wonder item and craft ma uh, arms and armor for the purposes of create co or craft construct. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, <sighs> I suppose that's an option. Um, I don't know much about that kind of construct, though. I suppose Lee would. Can I a DM? No. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, there's stories of a lot of alchemists who, you know, put a bunch of magical reagents in a bottle, shake it up, and a drop of soul juice in there, and eventually it becomes a living thing, or pseudo-living. Um, a lot of, a lot of alchemists use them as familiars, I think so. Uh, homunc- humungles? Homunculi. Hoogles. Homunky. Homunculs. Yeah, whatever they are called. Um, I technically, I've never really had much of an interest in them personally, as they're not, well, they're a little bit more magically based than mechanically based, but do you know about those? Homunculus? Yes, they're usually, as you said, quite common amongst alchemists. Yeah, never they're Never generally... tried my hand at making one. They're generally animated with a bit of soul, right? Uh, I believe you typically take a piece of their creator, right? So, I yeah. suppose so. They're innately blood. linked... A pint of their blood. It's a lot of blood. It's a lot of blood. Hey, Silas, would you rather lose a pint of blood or die? Is this truly a question? What kind of yeah. would you rather is this? Exactly. Of, of course, it's the blood. Oh, well, um... But, at the, but I do not... I have choices other than that. It would be cheaper than the clone. And it would be a mind... And it would be a body, and it has a drop of your soul, and if you some poof, we could maybe shunt the curse onto a monk. Again? 
Yes, potentially. However, we we do not know if this will work, and there are other options. Why? I would need like a thousand gold pieces to make one as well. I'm well aware, but I owe Silas, so which Aaron is will surprisingly casually mention that she would be drop willing to drop a thousand gold on Silas. Mm -hmm. Do you have a thousand gold? Not currently. I would I would be willing to do it. It's a thing. I could kill something and, you know, make it easier. <sighs> oh, that reminds me I've been forgetting to mention. Give me a second. Because, Ash, while you've been finagling with people, you've discovered uh, a few things. By the way, oh. <clears throat> um, the... Technically, if you have all the laboratory and equipment, you can waive the thousand gold cost. It would just cost you like fifty gold to make. Well, I mean, Re read the uh, read the description. It's construction. Uh, most you're... of that is laboratory materials. I mean, we do have the cloning vats downstairs from the alchemist. Uh, proper hound. Um, I suppose I could root around in there and see if I can and, cobble I mean, something together. You might be able to offset some of that cost with the alchemist. Proper nouns, laboratory equipment. Yeah, um... I doubt you'll be able to get the full thousand out, but, you know. I mean, we did find the auxiliary lab, too. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, I've, I've gone down looking through the homunculus route before. I, I, this is why, like, when you went said you had an alchemical solution, I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. We're gonna we're gonna make a dwarf in the flask. Yeah, I mean, if we can just sort of put Silas in a bottle for a bit, give it a curse, and you know, get the Sil real Silas back. There you go. What's a better Silas than Silas? Yeah. Anyone else? <sighs> Oof. Look, um, that seems like my next task. Uh, Lee, do you think we're good on the? portal thing or do you want to get the safety measures done first i mean i'm all i'm all for just throwing my construct through and then we could get more notes on how it actually works i mean if right you're now we're all to, theory if you're willing to potentially sacrifice your construct and you have a portal to send it through then by all means uh alternatively you know if you don't want to risk your construct i could just send a pop it the thing is, is we sort of I mean, it's kind of designed for that, and honestly, you know, once it's on the other side, I should be able to just scry it, right? Presumably. And, and talk to it, tell, give it to man commands, and pop it would be on its own. Well, I can give commands to my puppets as well. Well, across dimensions? Yeah. Well, as long as this gate is open for every one minute. Oh. Oh shit, yeah, it would be open for a minute. There's a period of time in which something could quickly duck in, have a look, and pop out. The danger, it seems, is the actual Passover will expose you to whatever the fuck is between planes. Yeah, that Which, weird black fire is... shit? Yeah, I don't know if that's it... a good thing. Well, it's definitely not a good thing. Oh, are you two talking about, you know, the veil? Maybe? Um, maybe? I... Black fire keeps shooting out of all of my teleportation designs every time, and I don't even know why. Yeah, I've never heard of the veil manifesting as black fire. I don't know what you're doing. It's just supposed to be this divine magic barrier separating the planes, keeping them from all eating each other, as is my understanding. I mean, do you know what happens when the veil breaks? Because, I mean, I could be being uh... a bit too rough. Normally, from what I've heard, if the veil is ruptured, it's just a hole into another plane. Yeah. Although, now I'm curious as to what the veil itself is actually made of. I might actually be able to get a look at it. Man, that's why I brought you on on this project, dude. With this, you might even be able to touch it, but... I wouldn't I recommend touching wouldn't it. wouldn't recommend... There's... Yeah, no. Kind of hurts. I think, Frankly, I mean, as Steph has already said, 
Ash, if you pass over, you'll probably be a bit more protected than anyone else, just because, well, gestures to Sumner. That, but there's still no telling, like, you could see stuff that you're not supposed to see. Something could touch you. You could maybe even just get a spell blight from the strange energies in it. I mean, we're all coming down with curses. What's one more? <sighs> uh, Aaron makes a little list. ruby red jazz hands. <laughs> my planar magic isn't my primary focus in things. So that might be surprising to you. Well, yeah. I You're still more than us. Yeah. But still, I... Like I said, I'm you know, a witch or warlock or whatever you want to say. I dabble in, you know, the dark and mysterious art. Uh, this is pretty dark and mysterious. I mean, black fire is like shooting out of it. Yeah, which is why, you know, I'm kind of looking at this going, oh no, I'm going to see something I'm not supposed to. I'm sup I'm going to touch something I'm not supposed to? You mean like a witch patron? No, I I understand that. It's more just like, you have other presumably if you're ever going somewhere, you'll have other people going with you. And, uh, Aaron, I don't suppose you've, I don't know, got a secret patron backing you? <laughs> Funny. I mean, maybe voice, but he doesn't seem like that kind of guy. I mean, she shrugs. I might help you. I have no idea. I mean, it maybe we just be yeah, no, talking true. Shakespearean and the type yeah, if we, portal, then maybe. If we pierce the planar veil, and I somehow end up like meeting my patron face to face, I'm pretty sure my mom would die of happiness. Well, wow. uh, sure, if you right? want to go yourself, man. Uh, it, yeah, I can't course, tell you no. You know. There's nothing saying that I don't run into one of the other myriad witch gods out there. I don't know what's beyond space, time, shit. I don't know. And honestly, even the main reason I wanted to send the construct through is because people keep coming out of that dimension that we keep that we want to get to at different time frames at like over centuries, and I don't want to send something in there that could age twenty years in five seconds. I mean, twenty years isn't that much to me. Oh, right. Azamar. Yeah. Gotcha. Some of us are human. Yeah, I, I'm certainly not heading through that portal. You couldn't pay me to. What's not happening? Um, I, look, I at least look human. And I think I look like a damn good human. Do you want to, you know, football carry my construct through with you? At least you would have a way to contact us at then. I'd I'm like really to can't... send it first through to make sure it doesn't, like, actually explode. Oh, that's fair. And just pick it up then when you get, when you know it's safe. Yeah, basically. You have right. a minute time frame to step through and step back, so it's certainly something you could do. Be one of the first people ever to see an entirely different plane of life. I mean, not really, but okay. I mean, well, probably, you know, the first person to do it in their first year of school. Probably not. Uh, I mean, records haven't said anything about people doing that. I don't think that's a record most people, you know, note down. That's fair. And it also depends on which actually plane this thing is on. Um, yeah, I mean, no, it like, if, be... if it if it ends up breaking into, like, the plane of fire or the plane of water, I'm not sticking my head through. If it's the plane of water, we have more problems on our hands. It's the water is just going to start puddling through, so that's, you know... Out of character, unfortunately, that's two of the portals that you have ready access to. Yeah. <laughs> Fire and water. Technically, also earth, but uh. Yeah, what's up with this portal? Yeah. It's just stone. What the fuck? <laughs> and if you want the plane of air, you're gonna have to climb a little. But on that note, I'm gonna take a distract a moment to distract you from the conversation. Yeah, you uh, said I learned something. Yes, if you look all the way down to the south, in the forest, where I'm peeing. Ash, you discovered you heard some or overheard some people talking. There's been a few interesting things happening in the region lately. Uh, namely, people have discovered oh, there's been a shadow spider nest, which you would quickly learn that shadow silk or night silk that Erin has for her clothing 
Uh, those are the spiders who produce that. Ooh. Apparently a queen has been spoiled. Well, normally spiders don't have queens, but shadow spiders apparently adhere to like a kind of nest uh, hierarchy. <laughs> Stop thinking. No. But uh, there's other things, but this is where I'm going to introduce something more related to crafting, as uh, Tinder also discovered earlier in the week. As you know, there's certain materials you can find that will give you certain benefits, such as bonuses to stealth when it's dark. There will be other things, like Apos helped fight a giant crab and discovered, oh, the materials made from this thing give bonuses when you fight defense flare to total defense actions. Over your travels now, you may find special materials, uh, which will be brought up as stocks. These stocks can then essentially be used to craft armor, craft weapons, craft tools, without incurring a cost, just using the stocks that you have. Ooh. Uh, these will often give kind of minor bonuses, as you've already discovered. More rare and more potent uh, materials will give bigger bonuses. And for certain things, you can mix and match, where you'll select one thing as like the main crafting reagent, and then other things as secondary, where you'll always get the benefit of the main thing, but, and you have a chance to get the benefits of the second thing, based on how strong it is. Neat. As I'll give... Of course, this will take relevant craft checks to make such things. Do I get a bonus to it? Uh, depending on what you're trying to make, yeah, because you have... Harvester. Yeah, harvest. Yeah, harvest parts will help you get extra stocks from shit. Stonks. Uh, or you could choose... Stonks. You could choose to get stocks, or you can choose to just get your gold pieces. Yeah. Your, the stocks that you harvest will have the same thing that you need to use it within a certain time. Got it. A plus one, of course, per 10,000 pings as well. Yes. But the effects will range, will be the minor benefits like the hermit crab thing. With rarer materials, you can even potentially make staves or such, which will boost casters' DCs, or just weapons which get increased damage dice. But those will be the more rare, expensive materials. And of course, for those of you who use ranged weapons, if you don't necessarily want to make your bow of it, you can use one stock to make 10 arrows. So, if you were looking to make money, you could potentially go down to the Shadow Spider Nest and harvest the silk from it and also whatever you can get from the spider bodies. Uh, Ash also hears about there's been trouble in the northwest, west, east, west, yes, west, in this big glowing bubble to the northwest. Apparently weird, like, aberration monsters have been showed, uh, shown spotting shit. up. Glowing bubble where? Oh shit, I haven't set the aura to be seen by you, that's why. There we go. Oh, I've been I've been curious about that little grove in the mountains. Anyway, there if you see stuff in the map, it's there. There's things for you to discover should you go to choose explore. Uh, the final thing is Ash learns of a very popular party point for people when they have a bit of a break. Uh, all the way down in the bottom left, you'll see a question mark over the uh, thing in the mountains. There's a ruined outpost there. Back when this fit place was an actual uh, populated city, that's where they'd go to keep an eye on for any mass incursions coming from the no man's land. Now it's just kind of a big empty dwarven outpost where people sometimes go to party. God, that is a that's a long way to go to just go fucking party. Yeah, but it's got a, while it's ruined, there's a lot of shit left there, like properly working stoves, alchemical lamps, and stuff. It's mostly used by the people not rich enough to have their own place around Soulridge. Hmm. But yeah, you discover those three things. And of course, everything else that you know of on the map currently. I suppose our next question would be, are we going to go through the portal first, or are we going to try to apprehend the necro? Well, first you have to figure out where he's gone. Yeah. Or are we going to try to get Silas cured? It's close by, at least. I should probably also mention, Big B, do you have sense move? Yes. If you wanted over the days, you could start trying to use your uh, prognostication, was it? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Where is it? Let's bring it up because you've been utilizing every other a close spell <laughs> lock if you want to try and narrow stuff down or find out if it's a good idea to go places. Yeah, I can, I can do augury type stuff with it. Yep, and also uh, if you have linguistics. It is about a person, though. I mean, hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Can you get augury okay. questions for, like, yes or no? I mean, uh, no, augury is wheeler woe. Oh. You need divination for yes or no. Well, wheeler woe is... 
Yeah, I can do the uh, the augury from automatic writing. Well, I, yeah. I mean, you can do augury. Uh, will we have luck finding the portal to the first school above, above ground? Sure, I can. I can take some time doing that. I can do it once per day, and it's not Silas's big wheelhouse, but automatic writing seems more. I guess that's more his wheelhouse than prognostication. I mean, there's chances. Yeah. If anyone else has any other information gathering spells that they want to use over the downtime and such, they certainly can. I don't know if Druid gets anything good, or I don't know if you're also just a bit fried for it right now, Tinder. I think he's... The best thing Druid has is, like, find the path. I mean, Druid gets Lay of the Land, right? Yeah. Which is basically one mile per two caster levels, so, like, two miles, know a bunch of shit around you. Yeah. I used to use that all the time in uh, Valerian Throne. It's a really useful spell. It is. Seriously, every time we went somewhere new, like, Dark eventually just got in the habit of telling me, like, here's everything within a 10 mile radius. But I think that's where, beyond people doing any, saying they want to do stuff like gather information on this day and whatnot, we'll end it here with Rose gone with Tinder dying a bit. And also, that sneeze gave me a headache. Ugh. Uh, I mean, the only question I have is ra about the wrench. Yeah, what, well, the thing I was waiting for is what ability do you want to replace if you're upgrading it? Or replacing an ability? With something uh, random? I was kind of game for literally anything. Uh, except for okay. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you now, the size change, well, actually, I guess you could replace the size changes if you want, but you cannot replace the hero point detection. Okay. So, shall I just roll 1d3? Oh, also, I forgot to send you. Oh, apparently, you're getting rid of size alteration. I forgot to send you because I said you would get a trait from helping Lee. Let's see. Unfortunately, they're not great. That's right, fine. You have a choice, but they're not great. Uh, instead of size alteration, actually, I'm just going to say crank the world. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say that because I like crank the world a lot. Uh, it's hard for me to justify using it and. It's kind of clunky at times. Okay, replace it with something different. I'll tell you now, it will be within, you know, what the wrench is kind of expected to do. Yep. I'll need to think on that, so you won't be getting an answer right now. Uh, other than that, what else am I forgetting? Torin, are you still here? Yep. Uh, I remember, obviously, we were discuss discussing the additional ability your necklace has. Uh, I thought of, like, three other things it could potentially be, if I can remember where it is. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, no, it, it's just fucking witches get n nothing good yeah. for language dependence. I don't blame you. Except for, like, command. I was thinking one of these three, maybe. You're fine to say no if you don't like you, any of them. Um. Okay. Poppets, you can have craft, you can have craft construct to make. Okay. Yeah, you can make poppets of craft construct. Oh, I, I don't have either of them so far, so... Yeah, you still need to make um, it. I'll go with two. Okay. It's certainly not a bad one, just being able to do that. Yeah, no, like, I, I can definitely see uses for that. Good distraction tool. Good to know. I will update your thing. And so, Bigby, were you going to upgrade Curiosity Philly with that final tree, or were you waiting on that? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to finish the tree. Okay, I'll get you what that does then, as right. soon as I update Torrance thingy. Uh, and I'm probably never going to make poppets, so... Take mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. the toy box kind. King. It's supposed to be. Destroy them! I guess toy box kind actually works as well. As you become slightly more adept at damaging constructs. Plus three for miscellaneous construct damage. Let's see here, let's see... Da -da -da. Drops to zero. Boost and boost and sense mod boost. So sorry, was your was prognostication a secret rule? Uh, do 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 do. Let me pull it up again. Good to go. Or good to go. Second. Now, where did I look to curiosity's upgrades? Because I think I wrote on my phone. Which means which one of these notepads is in? <laughs> also, I'm not doing prognostication. I'm doing automatic writing. Oh, right. And you get the wolf. Ah, eh, that's... Yeah, but that's the thing. Uh, prognostication is about a creature. 
Yeah, but you could just I say, if I go here, do I get good luck? I guess that's true, yeah. And the uh, automatic rating is only once per week, so... Let's see, prognostication, are you a hidden roll? Oh yeah, I forgot your automatic yep. rating is once a week. Yeah, you get a secret sense motive against the DC uh, modified by the subject's hit dice. Which, the fortune per augury is 25 plus hit dice. Yep, you're not going to have a lot of luck. Unless you have a very low hit dice creature who you could use it on instead, but you take with you. Which I don't believe you do. I don't think oh, anyone has a random pet. Personally, no. But I mean, what about... No, that those aren't living creatures, are they? The constructs. Or the poppets. Technically not. Yeah, I don't think they count. I mean, it doesn't say living creature, it just says creature. Are the poppets creatures or objects? Creatures. So, I, yeah, I could hit mint. Mint's only like one hit dice. I'll give me both, but yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it is. It, they are both. So yeah, I can I can just hit up mint, mint a few times because I'm not really going anywhere without mint. They're kind of my pack mule for reasons. And since this is once day, I might as well give it a plus two for my self assurance. Okay. So yeah. Sadly, don't have anything that gives me bonuses to sense motive checks and spells, so I can't will the ancients myself up. It'd be like that sometimes. Yeah. I hope you'll be happy with what curiosity can potentially get now. I'm almost done. Check the psychic spell list, the psychic or mesmer spell list, and see if they have, um, what's it called? Uh, guidance. So then I'm going to be honest, I have absolutely no idea what you've been mentioning when you mean Blackfire, because I don't remember ever describing Blackfire. You said I assumed it that was just you being flavorful. Oh. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, you, 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 you mentioned it first. I don't remember. Yeah, during I, the, I don't have anything in my notes saying that Blackfire. So during I the heist, cool yeah. With it. I mean, this, this isn't the the normal oh. kind of normal thing where. Yeah, you mentioned it during the heist, and I, you know, mind I'm just running over because it actually right. kind of makes sense that okay. Aaron would be doing that. Was this. more of an offhand. This sounds really cool thing than it was a significant thing. But sure. Oh yeah, it. no, it it, it makes, makes sense, sense for what yeah. Aaron has done and, and and it is a thing in lore sir so the bale fire of the rift yeah it's uh out of character i'm referencing the black fire as from black fire summoning or black fire adept which is actually actually causing inflicted harm to the pl to the barrier between planes it, the planar barrier responds with black fire shooting out everywhere because it's literally tearing the veil. I don't find nothing. Next thing has been added. All right, yeah. all right. uh, Oracles of the Outer Rift would also get an ability called Balefire, which, once again, same idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is literally when you tear the plane with, you know, without any safety measures or, you know, care or knowledge, uh, Black Fire shoots out everywhere and destroys shit. That's uh, hmm, interesting. Yeah, and the Blackfire Adept is all about later, summoning abyss. Well, yeah, the Blackfire yeah. Adept is all about summoning abyss, abyssal creatures who don't care about the Black Fire and making, and them, making explode them explode when they, when they come into existence. I mean, it's described, well, described as a reef as a reefed black screaming flame. Well, that is interesting. That wasn't actually what I said. Was talking about whenever I said that. I was kind of mumbling to myself about what I got from curiosity. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, rift, mm. rift fire, or battle fire. Fire is, is described as a black flame that's, that almost sounds like it's screaming as it burns. Yep, because you're literally tearing apart the veil. And Erin doesn't know how to not do that, and so she's literally just ripping holes in reality. <laughs> so yeah, that should probably way. tell Erin what she's doing wrong. Well, I mean, I've always gone off the theory that you just don't do it because it's, you know, inspired intellect, and most people don't do this when teleporting. Aaron's doing this the hard way to sheer mathematics, and that just so she's missing something. And she doesn't know what to complete the portal technology. Aaron's like MacGyver, but also a very dangerous MacGyver, because half the time is just a significant risk to what she makes to herself. Yeah. So yes, new, new title, or new tree, watch what I can do now, mama. Mama, watch me tear a hole Mama. in reality. Ah! <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> it's a bit odd. It's, I have a feeling I'm probably not going to be taking too much of it. 
That's fair. Yeah, it's interesting, but not great. Though the last one is quite good. I'll say. I'll, <sighs> I'll tell you now, you should probably get some hints about what curiosity was in life from this. Yeah. Hmm. I will also say the reason I keep flavoring the constructs is not taking any damage from this is because it's evil. It does evil damage. So, constructs don't care. <laughs> I will tell you now, the risks that going through the portal currently poses to you is more, it leans more heavily on mental stuff than it does anything else. Yeah, well, I mean, with, with Ash point. and Staff helping you with the portal, it's probably much less likely to give you fucking veil fire burns. Yeah. Yeah, likely. Probably. I mean, Aaron didn't know. It's just thought that it was a trait of teleportation. <laughs> yeah, no, like, Ash probably, like, wait, no, that doesn't happen. That's not supposed to happen. Where are you going? What are you doing? Just... Wait, hold on a minute. Actually, I think I... I think I've heard of this. Oh, wait. This is the thing that happens when you do all of the absolutely wrong things. No, she's doing everything right. She's just not doing any of the safety measures that other rituals have. Because she didn't know that she had to do that. She yeah, just calculated no, it, the it, strength it, it, of the fire basically... between reality and pulled them apart. I mean, what else, what else was there needed to be done? You know, basically it's like Ash's method of summoning is much more like... um opening the window, whereas Aaron's just smashing the window. Yes. Because Aaron just saw a barrier between realms and decided, okay, how do I punch a hole in the reality? Uh, Alright, I think we do this, 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 and this. Punch a hole! And Ash is just sort of pulling apart the blinds so they can see out the window. <laughs> this is also why I always flavored everything as taking a shit ton of power because Aaron was literally just tearing holes in reality. Let us use a scalpel, not a hammer. <laughs> She doesn't know what that means. She didn't know. She will. She is going to need to be educated. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see. Because a lot of the things I've always imagined that because you did that a few times with your summoning, a lot of it's sort of religiousy mumbo jumbo. Aaron's more worried about like the practical applications of what that religious mumbo jumbo is actually doing because. Yeah, Teaching through oral tradition makes a lot of sense for Ash, um, but you kind of lose what the base meaning of what those oral traditions were. I mean, you still know how to do it. You just, what's the base meaning, or why do we do this? So I mean, probably you probably really, piece it together. It, 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 I, I suppose to Aaron, it probably sounds like religious bumbo jumbo, but we both know it's like religion's not involved at all. And technically, you're in a cult, kind of. It's spirity. Aaron just took all the spiritiness out of it. And then she probably dumped out a few other things with the bathwater. By the way, J Mac. Yeah. Um now that I have um fixed locations for the elemental portals. you know, portals and these places of power, guess where <laughs> I need to go? The fire one? E yes. Guess where I'm also probably going to end up going. Air? Earth, yeah, because it's on the way. Okay. And why do you think that is? Well, fire, because I imagine you want to empower candle. Yes. Air. I mean, air could also be used to empower candle. I have hinted that you could uh, mutate candle into different sort of fire-related elements. I think air would end up making them a smoke elemental. Yeah, but that uh, Ash is yeah, kind of looking at candle, going like, "There is only." One thing I'd ever corrupt it with, and that would be, that would be, uninfluenced celestial energy. I am Elemental looking. plane of positive energy, basically. That's gonna be a lot harder to find the portal to. Uh, yeah, the no, it, it's like, hmm, how do how do I get, how do I get the energy of a good aligned plane? Without the influences of a deity, in uh, you know shaping you, I know a portal. Do you? Yeah, it's the center of the sun. Oh, <laughs> sure. Let's fucking go to the sun, Ash. God. <laughs> yeah, it's not that hard, man. 
<laughs> I, I I must take my son and go to the sun so I can put I my mean, son in the sun. <laughs> I mean, Kendall could certainly survive in the sun. Yeah, but <laughs> Kendall would have to survive the vacuum of space first. Uh, I mean, elementals need to eat beaver sleep. Yeah, the vacuum good. Oh, I suppose he had this damage. Candle well, as an entity doesn't have a lot of hit points. So technically, the sun does have an atmosphere. It's just on fire. I mean, you'd also need to branch over, you know, the space between the sun and the planet. I mean, that's true. Uh, I mean, yeah. Into, into the planetary yeah. teleport, the sun. Yeah, I, I, I thought one who could totally survive inside the sun. It's, well, except for the whole gravity issue as well, that would crush it, but, you know. Uh, doesn't really have mass, per se. Well, the sun does have mass. No, the elemental doesn't. It would still be crushed yeah, yeah. by... Can't, can't yeah. have mass. You have mass. What are you talking about? Uh, what else do you have? Well, does, fire elemental is just energy. Kind of. I mean, it deals physical damage when it punches you. So. Uh, fair. Alright. They're like, flame with purpose. I mean, uh, really, uh, fire elementals are more like napalm, I guess? Also, yeah, so what did you want to go to the airplane for? Birds? Lillian. Oh, right. Yeah, as you can see, she's been vaguely in the right area, just not high enough. Yeah. No, I'm sure she's going to be very happy when I go, Hey, you know all of that, you know, air elemental stuff you were looking for? I found it. Finally, she can get them to work in to make more mirrors. Just not that dumb. Yeah, um, that's kind of like the shtick for Aaron's plans. I mean, you'll get what you wanted. I need to note down that you have this because I'm definitely going to forget. I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Also, yes, you can use the Alchemist Labs somewhat to make a homunculus. I'd shave off half the cost. Is it while they're meant for cloning, they're not really meant for homunculi. But a lot of the stuff could definitely be repurposed. Okay. Also, the homunculus does have to look like a tiny Silas, but still like a homunculus. Oh, of course. <sighs> totally. 